To view differences in activity over time, we are going to explore the before and after and period comparison analysis features. Both enable you to track changes in human activity across space and time by creating time period comparisons. First, click on fishing effort to limit your analysis to fishing, or presence to view all vessel activity, whichever you would like to explore. Click the I for more information on each dataset. Next, navigate to the area you are interested in. For this example, we are going to use the Moray Moana, the Cook Islands Marine Park. Then, select any reference layer you are interested in, including the Exclusive Economic Zone, Marine Protected Area, or Regional Fisheries Management Organization layer, or upload or draw your own reference layer on the map. Hover and click over the layer to highlight the region that you wish to analyze and select create an analysis for this area. If you are having any issues selecting a region, try clicking on the region's boundary or outline. Before and after compares the fishing effort or presence before or after a specific date of interest. You can set the criteria for your analysis, including the date and a duration. The date is the point in time that you would like to use for the comparison. The duration is the amount of time that you would like to compare before and after the date that you have selected. Explore the results via the graph by hovering over specific points. Within the map, you can also click on the grid cells to explore specific points. The color corresponds to the legend at the bottom right-hand corner of the map, so that you have a visual representation of any changes before and after the specified point in time. In this color scale, the blue grid cells show areas where apparent fishing effort has decreased, and red grid cells where fishing has increased after the date of interest. Period comparison allows fine-tuning when comparing changes in fishing effort or presence to a specific time range. Examples could include differences in fishing activity within a year in different seasons, or comparisons of a certain two months each year. Set the criteria for your analysis by selecting a baseline start, comparison start, and duration. The baseline start is the date that will be used to compare changes in activity. The duration can be set depending on your interest. When selecting dates, consideration should be given to how the calendar can influence human activity. For example, a national holiday may be on different days in consecutive years, which can influence fishing patterns. Explore the results via the graph or map. If there is a vertical line on the graph, there is no data available for comparison beyond that point in time. Take screenshots or download the underlying data in a report, by first selecting Evolution, then clicking the Download Report button, which is explained in another video. Sign in to download a report. Learn more about additional Global Fishing Watch analysis tools on our tutorials and FAQ pages. Reach out to our support team at support at globalfishingwatch.org with any questions.